All right. So welcome to um, um greatest stage two list um to two thirty and sorry I'm so so light here and I'm Martian and I'm honored to be great here again on on, on behalf of ICS Village here and today's I will going to present um this talk will be to mapping the landscape for the top ten critical infrastructure um three terrains here for 2022, 2024, hey. And um, I will say, usually we, we will uh, meet some situation is we know OT security is very critical, but we don't know how real critical in a different industry. It's very chaotic. We know the attacks. We know there are many attacks, ransomware, APT attacks, but what kinds of thinking behind of those OT operators or OT industry CISOs? So we, we do a lot of research on that. And we want to know how we can do that. And I'm Mas Chen from Taiwan, and now I'm a research manager of TS1 Networks. And uh, um, I also as uh, is a executive director of the Association of Hacks in Taiwan. It's a very awesome and powerful association, and we organize many cybersecurity conference or competition things. And also spoke at a many cybersecurity conference. Also, I um, just finished our our talk for yesterday, Brehe USA 2094. So it's me here for reference. Okay, I think. And also, so for the top 10 critical infrastructure situation, and so turn here. Um, before we started, we need to know the one thing first here is we um, do the, the, this survey for, the, for the 2023 and 2024. And this survey, we collect many um, cybersecurity CISOs in the old industry, including the 2023 for the uh, general manufacturing, in the automotive manufacturing, pharmaceutical manufacturing, oil and gas. And also, we also do little things in the 2024 and we increase it, it is a scope here. So for the reference, we know now, in the 2024, we have more higher percentage for those people in charge of OT cybersecurity and budget and everything, so on the management level. And first, what is the top 10 for first one for policy? We know every country, everywhere they know the cybersecurity for old environment is very important. But how important for that? So we just go through from, from the policy. You will see here from March 2023 to now, there are many policies. Sometimes they will um related with the OT environment or ICS policies, or like for example in the EU, recently years we have a cyber resilience ad happened. And also in every industry, including Taiwan, Korea, Japan, they also design their some security law or the regulation for the OT and the, um, critical infrastructure environment. So we know the process is going on at that to know how to um, process that or that on the those environment. And for people, according to our observation, it's a very interesting thing is we know the security awareness and the training of OT operators here, we focus on OT operators. It's very, very not a nerve. Why we say that? So here's the evidence here. We know there are many OT security instances, including phishing email for the rookers, including phishing email or some employee actions. Sometimes it will be malicious motivations or sometimes it will be unintentional. But here you will see between 2023 and 2024 here, there are still something different. For 2023, phishing email and pre actions, they will be the root cost. They will be the root cost for the OT security incident. And for the for the 2024 ransomware attack and for the mobility um, patch. But we know the one key reason is even in the 2024, our answer from those CISOs in the OT environment, they answer the OT the, ris, the answer OT ransomware is their first priority and the key hit root cost for the um, OT secure incident. But let's they are aware arising one thing is, the thing is, the reason we attack is not totally performed by those attackers. Sometimes they also pull some hold or the environment um, issue in the OT industry. So those why they, those attackers can leverage those in uh, vulnerability or those issue to take over entire OT environment. So that's why we say those OT security um, 
Um, that's why we say the security awareness and training is not enough for this moment for those environment here. And for the people, we also say human resource gap for the OT security professionals. Why we say that? Why we say that? The shortage for the cybersecurity professional here is we focus on many environment here for like um, the lake the integration between IT and OT environment. So we know one thing is in the OT environment, there are many industry like such as um, um, chemical or pharmaceutical, but the key point is in the different industry, they have different different OT secure professional requirement. However, in this stage, in this moment, those OT secure professionals still have rely on IT secure professional. So we will say they are integ not integrated, they still rely on IT environment. So the real thing is those OT guys or those OT secure staff they don't know, those, those IT people don't know how to perform and how to run the real OT cybersecurity things. So that's why we say they like it. They like the OT and IT in integration. And also, sorry. And oh, oops. And also, um, the talent gap also are difficult to hire. So for the OT security professional, for example, if you need to do the OT security, in the, uh, in, the general, in the semiconductor. First things, you need to know what kinds of things. Semiconductor process. What is the operation for the semiconductor industry? What is the semiconductor security issue? What is different things between the semiconductor or IT environment for the cybersecurity for the threats? So we need to know that. And also, if we, we also judgment that, and we are hard to, hard to hire those professionals for the semiconductor. So that's why security professional is not so enough here and also higher high quality people here for the high reason. And in the 2024, we also know those security team, they don't have enough capabilities to deal with the low OT security things and incident. The things we encounter and we have um, from our survey is, those things are usually will answer. They need to seek for third party help to handle the OT security incident. Their own OT security incident or IT security teams are hard to deal with those key incidents in their OT environment. They need to seek help. So, will be the security professional leak, leak or um, leakage, leakage, leakage here. So, that's why we need to try to engage and make the IT and OT security team to correlate with each other. And we need to know how to increase the high quality OT security professional. We need to perform a kind of training. We need to know the operation process. Some people will say, we don't need to know the different semiconductor or different um, industry process we can do the OT cybersecurity. I will say totally wrong because their operation is still different in each environment for chemical, for pharmaceutical. They are different operations, they are different machine. They are different parameter or issue on that. So it's very different. And the four will be more attack vectors target critical infrastructure and OT land enterprise environment. So why we say that? I will say the most simplified things is, OT have more large scope for the attackers. Between the IT and OT, so we will say IT, we don't mention IT here, but for the OT environment, they have more and more devices on that. They have more and more operation on that. So they have thousands or hundred, um, hundred thousands um, devices, operations, process, parameters, or everything on that, more than IT for the, over 100 times. So nowadays, the IT OT are already convergency. We say, usually, we, we will have sure some proof later, but we know the IT OT already convergency. So if I've been to those IT operation, OT operation on the attack service, we are faced more, those attack vector more than IT environment here. So, for example, communication protocol. OT environment still use legacy OT communication protocol, such as Motorbus, such as Mitsubishi um, MailSoft, MailSec, or different uh, um, render protocol. They usually are encrypted protocol. They are very high risk. And also, those PLCs, those servers, they never patched. And or even past, they have more and more applications. So we will say those attack vectors higher than IT environment. So that's why we say that those attack vector is higher. And also, not only malware, not only insider threat, in OT environment depends on their um 
talk uh, their, 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 their features in a different OT environment or, or industry. Sometimes they will leverage GPS. For example, some power plant will use GPS to local their tide because tide accuracy is very important in the power plant and power industry or energy. Or sometimes for some conductor for the manufacturing, they are more take care of the third party and supply chain threats because they are already aware those attack can successfully into their environment basically from third party from supply chain for semiconductor. It's very interesting thing is usually they buy your devices. These devices may be already on one million, two million dollars already. But those devices even expensive, but they already be deployed in the virus inside the devices before they into they provide to those semiconductor industry. So before that, so the suppression issue also on that also will increase the attack vector on the environment. And also 5G security and satellite. Um, we re in the recently, TS1 already also noticed a very key interesting part is satellite. And we also do a lot of research on satellite um, risk. We know um, in the nowadays, in a different industry, they also deploy and they need to make long distance issues to solve the long distance issue, they need to use the satellite or 5G to solve the connection problem, communication problem. And but however, I was unfortunately, those satellite devices usually are encrypted or are not so secure at all after our, um, our survey. So we will say in a straight landscape or straight attack surface part, OT environment is more than and larger than IT environment in this moment. And five, I will say endless ransomware. Um, this term may not be targeted at OT environment, but unfortunately, those IT, OT environment they have IT environment, and those IT, IT environments, if a server and or attacked by ransomware, usually will impact on OT industry. And we will say, we will show the evidence later here. So for the same evaluation in 2023, we noticed and we also. Um, Raise the issue is ransomware still is a major attack at, in 2023. They are still have a lot of attacks or security incidents in the OT environment or in OT industry related with ransomware. Because those ransomware will choose the valuable target. Who have money? Who has money? Who have most powerful many money? They will attack those industry or those company because they can ransom that more easily. And in fact, they are right. For manufacturing, for the chemical, for the car industry, but automation industry, automotive industry, they are right. They will pay them, pay the ransom. And for the threat, I will say IT and OT are highly convergency. Um, unfortunately, this highly convergency is very um, good and also and bad. Why good? Because of operator, they are more easily to operate everything, every process in OT and IT control system. But what is the bad? The bad is the most OT environment in impact by IT instance. So we can see the table here in 2023. Yes, they will, we, we have um, over 143 um, um, directory uh, or above. The answer is they are strongly or suddenly affected by, they have incident by IT environment, but those incident also impact on the OT environment. And in the 2024, the percentage is increasing a little bit for the, to the 90%, 97% in total. So the key point, the key thing is, those attack if impact IT environment almost will impact OT environment according to our survey. So that will be the bad part for, in, for, 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 for the old environment nowadays, for our automation here. And also, we also survey and ask the, our um, um, people one question is, how OT security incident in the past 12 months? And we also have 59% people answer say yes, or not only, not, but not OT security incident, but also um, the, they don't have, but they also don't, don't provide or don't do the, any forensics or investigation on that. Even they get a lot. So main is visibility, I will say visibilities. Those people answer say yes is 
they realize, they also notice they have system, they monitoring, those incidents happened, they can handle that. But the one part is they may not have enough mechanism to monitor, to find the attacker is ongoing or already be performed by those attackers. They don't know how. So they don't have forensics or investigation on that. So that's why we conduct the answer together to the 95, 59% here. They're very interesting. And also, but this, this table I was very interesting because it's already a little bit different with our thinking here. So here is will be a real time recovery for the OT attack remaining challenge here. Um, you will see the major attackers such as APT attacks, DDoS attacks, employee actions for human errors and uh, um, for employee actions here, malicious intention. Usually they need to use one day to one week to recover the environment. But if you see the virus, if you see the third party vendor, they need to take care for, for almost five, five minutes to one hours or to the, um, just real time. It's a very interesting part, but we, we still carry out, we still figure out why they answer this question. And also, according to this survey, we still try to understand why those CISO can show the real time the recovery from here, this table. We, we still try, try, try to now try to know why for this. And for um, certain parties, huge impact on critical infrastructure. We always say, well, OT is very environment. Very, very important. Um, they are very critical. So they are many money, but here is our survey to show the proof. Say, according to those director label people from the different man manufacturing industry, um, in this step, in, in this question, in this survey, they can answer the three. Cross, they can choose the three answers for the most concerning impact of a security incident, and they are worried about. They also. Some some people on on the, on the survey they already encounter large the eggs. They also are uh, um, afraid for the compromise uh, um, compromised data operational functions or product, pro, uh, productivity lost. You will see that in, including the Germany, including USA, including the, um, basically in total, they are afraid on that. They know those cybersecurity event will make a huge impact, and some of them have happened it before. And also, they like also um, afraid for the key point things is loose operation control and safety issues in the Japan. And Japan also very think about that. So I will say different countries still have a little uh, different situation. Because of this survey, we do the Germany, we do the USA, we do the J Japan or UAE and including Taiwan. But I not raise Taiwan situation here because Taiwan situation is very, very special here. So you will see in 2024, um, reputation damage Revenue losses can be raised for the answer. For those CISO, they are more take care for the rep reputation and the um, revenue than 2023. They are than 2023. This is a very interesting part. But look back to the world, so the key point highlight us is they really worry about low security attack and cybersecurity attack will impact their product, their productivity, or their operation and realities. They're just afraid of that. And also, in the average, in the average, they also try to draw or um, survey or, plan, or planning on that. Age. So they want to evaluate if low cybersecurity attack happened, how many lose in their OT environment? How many? So, so they also do this survey. So on average, on average you will see um, 100k here um, to the um, 15k here will be the major part for the 21 percent in general. They will afraid that, but according to our survey internally, enough survey to those CISO people, a little more highland on that because in the real world, if the one keep um, the one operation loses loses or the um, this is dropped or the shut down. According to our survey or our real experience, those bird factory usually will be lost um, maybe um, 200 million or above in the key industry in the major manufacturing. But those people answers is they usually between the 100k to 115k here in 2024. And also in the Japan, they are very they are right 
a, a little rise, a little higher than the other countries. They usually target the 300k here, the level to the late. They are just afraid they are lost. But in Japan, our target mainly focus on the manufacturing for general manuf manufacturing here. And also, for number A will be enterprise are aware of the cybersecurity of OT and um, constrain their um, strategy for perspective here. So why we say that? The more simplified things is budget. So in 2023, 76 percent people and answers say they will increase their budget. In 2024, 68 percent here, but Japan, they decrease their budget for the OT cybersecurity, and the people answer is this question for 102. 102 people in the so mainly say 102 companies in Japan answers they will decrease their cybersecurity budget in the 2024 area. So the, the, the importance will be different from the different country perspective here. And solution. Um, solution is a very interesting part because they already, on the deployed solution, cannot solve the problem practically. Why would we say that? But interesting part is 93 companies already deploy a cybersecurity solution in their OT environment, according to our answer, uh, according to the answer we get. And also, they also deploy for the network solution or endpoint solution in the major part. But however, and also they need to run a POC or they need to improve their product. We've choose the product uh, from the six, um, three to six months in our, on average. But why would say that? It's still not good. Why? Because they usually deploy, they usually use IT cybersecurity solution in their environment not OT specific. This will be different. For example, for example, if IT solution, they usually use a heavy memory usage or they don't care BSOD situation in their product. But in OT specific environment, they usually put operation as a first priority. This will be key difference between IT and OT security, cybersecurity issue. And also the manpower is still not enough for an OT environment. For for the twenty six staff, only uh, twenty six percent staff, um, only one staff for um over two hundred devices. They need to take care. It's a very heavy things, and also, it's a line for no, the number nine here is the un unprotected Windows devices in only environment are common. Why? 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 We why? Why? We have number ten. In the number nine, we say they deploy. We ha already have ninety three percent company. Or answers they deploy layer cybersecurity solution in OT environment, but the deploy coverage is not 100%, and not 100%. So you will see only 61%. So here is 61% organization still have unsup unprotected Windows devices in their environment, no matter when, uh, endpoint solution or network solution. In 2024, 77% because Windows 7 also including Windows 10 also including in the um, in the legacy Windows devices. So here is the interesting part is, even they say they already deploy cybersecurity solution in their OT environment, but the answer is they are not 100% deployed in their OT environment. So their, protect, their protection is still not enough, according to our survey, for the get answer here. So I, I know this is a very quick part is, um, we will say the organization in a different industry, they need to prioritize their OT proactive defense strategy. We need to take care of many too many things in their environment, including the supply chain, asset expansion, threat, intelligence, network documentation. They need to take care because they encounter too many attack surface on their OT environment, but they need to evaluate what kinds of risks is their first priority here in their OT environment, and they need to take care on that. So this will be in um, the 2024 part, we, we should be take care for the environment here. So I think it will be all over um, my presentation. And if you have any questions, you can go to the stage, I will answer you. Thank you.